If you're following along with my channel here, you'll know that I just moved into my new apartment. Being the Long Island fish guy, we need to bring some fish tanks to this brand new apartment. I am going to show you how to properly move fish tanks. You could take this advice if you want to just move fish tanks to another location in your house, which is a little bit simpler than what I did or move them to a different type of house or apartment. Before we get started, if you do have any comments about the way I actually went ahead and did everything, drop a comment in the comment section below. If you do have any experiences with actually shipping fish, moving fish, moving fish tanks, moving in general with your fish tanks, let me know in the comment section below. You can maybe help out the community here and start a little bit of a conversation. As you'll probably already know if you are new to my channel, I have a fish room in my parents' house in the basement. 75 gallon, 125, a 29 gallon, and a 15 gallon. We moved a 29 gallon and a 15 gallon. 29 gallon is a community type setup with a bunch of different types of fish. There's a lot of corridors in there, a couple of different types of plecos, uh, really a vast bunch of different types of fish. The 15 gallon has just a red wolf fish inside of it, which we're gonna be upgrading in a little bit. To tackle this project, what I did first was I, uh, drained out the wolf fish tank and by the way you want to keep as much as the water inside the tanks as possible meaning that you want to remove as much as the water from the tanks and save it as much as possible essentially look at what you're going to be doing for them on top of the move as just a big water change inside their tanks so what we did was we like i said drained the water out of the wolf fish tank the 15 gallon and put it into a bucket five gallon bucket filled it up pretty much to about three quarters or so. Scooped out the wolf fish. It was kind of, you know, you don't want to watch out with these wolf fish. They can bite you pretty hard and they'll definitely break skin and draw a lot of blood. So I always try to stay away from my wolf fish in regards to its mouth. Scooped out the wolf fish, put them in a bucket, take the media outside of the filter and actually put it in the bucket. That'll keep your biological filtration wet inside there uh, with the actual fish. It'll also provide some cover for them. So I took all of my media, the lava rocks inside of there, the biological filtration, the mechanical filtration, and just put that inside the bucket. Took out a lot of the plants, put it inside the bucket with him, and called it a day. Brought the tank upstairs, and then we're on to the 29 gallon. Now for the 29 gallon, we bought, we bought I think it was like a 30 gallon tote. Uh, it was, Pretty sturdy to use, wanted to put a lot of water in there. Again, there's a lot of fish in my 29 gallon. We took the 29 gallon, uh, drained it down pretty low, uh, and then we started having some fun. Scooping out the fish in this tank was very easy at first because of the amount of fish we actually have inside of this tank. Uh, as we got down to about 10 more fish, it became a little difficult. But we did drain down the tank to the bottom after that. Just like for the 15 gallon tank, we actually went ahead and moved all of the biological filtration inside of there. We have two filters on the 29 gallon tank. One is the Marine Land Penguin, I think it's a 250B. Then we also have the Penplex uh, Cascade Marlin filter, which is good for like a 90 gallon aquarium. I like to over filtrate my quick tanks. But the canister filter, we left it alone. After we disconnected everything, we just left it alone, let it be, and just kept the water inside there and moved it as is. I put it inside of another tote. Then we, there's some driftwood inside the 29 gallon tank. We put that uh, inside of a separate container uh, with the filter and everything, and anything hard that can maybe knock into a fish and knock them out, uh, we took out completely. Put everything together, took some extra fish food and everything like that we wanted to bring to the apartment, and we were good to go. Uh, it was definitely pretty, easy to go ahead and do that. Moral of the story when you're actually preparing the fish for a move, keep the biological filtration safe and, and keep it in the water with the fish just to keep that uh, nitrogen cycle going because uh, you don't want to lose that when you actually move the fish. Next we brought into the apartment uh, and that's where we actually found our nice location. It's right next to the TV. It's a perfect fit. I have about 30 inches. There's a subwoofer. There is a stand for a TV and 30 inches for a fish tank. Literally the perfect fit. And there was a lot of stuff that we brought here. I was kind of not anticipating this. Definitely took much longer than anticipated. Now what you're going to want to do is actually fill up the tanks first with the actual new water. Again, this is just one giant water change that you're basically doing for your fish. I typically have a nice little system at my parents' house where I have the you know two hoses, one for water inside the fish tanks to come out, 
one for fresh water to come in directly into the tanks. Here in this apartment, I don't have that yet. I don't know if I'm ever gonna set up anything like that just because of the way the hoses are set up. So I had to go the old fashioned way with big old buckets. It definitely wasn't the easiest route, uh, but it, it worked, it worked, we, we made it work. So after going back and forth with the buckets, uh, basically you have a bunch of fresh water in there, definitely go ahead and use your dechlorinator. I was a little bit nervous using this new water because I checked out the TDS. TDS is like the metals and stuff that's actually inside the water. I think it's kind of natural uh, based off of the actual piping systems that we have in our houses. But there's actually a lower TDS here. So the water here is actually better than uh, the water at my parents' house. So I was a little bit, you know, that was the only thing I was really afraid of moving here because we're moving to a completely different uh, address, area code, whatever you want to call it. I, as a Long Island fish guy, I used to live in Nassau County. I live in Suffolk County now. I literally have fish tanks in different area codes. That is the Long Island fish guy for you. But we set up the wolf fish tank first, put him in there as soon as possible, uh, and just got him. It was just a quick, easy setup, got everything set up. Uh, you know, first we actually put the filter on, uh, we filled up the tank with water. Uh, put some of his water into the tank, basically up to the top then. After we put the new water in, the dechlorinator, let it sit for a little bit, added some of his water in there, and then added him in. Topped it off with his water, and it's a done deal. Did the same exact thing for the 29 gallon tank. Put the new water in there, put some of their water in there, and then put the fish in there. Got everything up and running with the biological filtration inside the filters, and we were basically good to go. Uh, there's different sand inside the 15 gallon tank. It's play sand, so it was a little bit cloudy for the first couple of days. Uh, and then the 29 gallon uh, was almost clear within a few hours. It's a different, it's like a Petco type sand uh, made for aquariums. The tank's current day look great. The mortality rate for these fish was actually zero. Uh, and I think I, you know, we did a pretty great job of it. Shout out to my boy Pete for helping me out. Pete was actually sick. He had like, Plays a little bit of music, plays the drums in a band. That's, don't, I don't know if that's drums or not, but he was out late the night before and uh, he still helped me out. So he's actually the cameraman for this video. So again, shout out to Pete. Everything is great now, but some of my favorite fish are still at my parents' house and I wanna change that. So I think I might be doing is actually changing up the stocking of some of these fish. I might be removing some of these fish, putting them in my uh, 125, uh, but we'll see what happens and I'm maybe bring some fish in here. Maybe getting another tank for Black Friday. Today's actually Saturday, so Black Friday already happened. Spoiler alert, we got a new tank. We got a new tank, but that's for a later video. So if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.